Well, three times they have been bridesmaids, and they feel very strongly that last year they should have stood atop the altar. They finished second to Jenny Mino and Todd Sand the last three seasons and feel like this is the year that they can upset them. Kyoko Ina and Jason Dungeon. I think this music suits them very well. It emphasizes their best qualities, which are power and excitement. side, triple toes, uh, and he fell out of it. He simply cannot make that kind of a mistake if he wishes to win this championship. That will cost a two or three tenths of a point deduction. Ina and Dungeon also have their eye on the World Championships. They finished sixth last year, but they would love to win the national title. With their nemesis, Mino and San will skate a little bit later on. not particularly great, but that is one very tough lift. You notice the change of direction in the middle of it. Watch for the unison. They seem to be in sync on their feet, not so much in the upper body. And an unusual end that just glides out. It's like a performance that was very good. It's sort of like the French wine that was very, very good. Not great, but very, very good. And subtle. <laughs> well, Stigler and Zimmerman lead right now. That may change in a moment. Doko Ina and Jason Dungeon trying to capture their first U.S. title. I'm sure they will come in over uh, Zimmerman and Stigler. Remember, Jenny Mino and Todd Sands still to skate. Now, th this is the, the, the jump that is so difficult for so many pair skaters. Side by side, triple jumps. In this case, triple toe loops. Now, watch there. They reach back to pole vault. But again, look at his leg. It's not straight. It's bent. And that's like the pole vault that is suddenly broken. It doesn't work, and it doesn't give you the good height you, that you need and the good control, and he fell out of it. And that um, stepping out of a landing will cost him probably two tenths of a point. Hers seem to be fine. Well, it's a tough week for Kyoko Ina. All the pressure of skating in the pairs competition and trying to win their first title, but also she's scheduled to skate in the singles event. So you're talking about not only the pressure of that, but also double practices every day. And they look up at their marks for required elements. They're very good. 5.3 up to 5.6. 
5.6. The man on the left is Peter Burroughs, their coach, and their other coach uh, is Mary Lynn Gelderman and on the right. Remember, no, they led after the short program a year ago in San Jose to see Mino and San come back to capture the title. The presentation marks even higher. 5.5 up to 5.8 for Ina and Dungeon. We'll have more skating from Nashville when we continue in a moment.